on demand with the Cairo Radio app. Cairo Radio News, 97.3 FM. This is the Ron and Don Show on Cairo Radio, 97.3 FM, Seattle Seahawks Station. Oh, man, I got to go pumpkin patch this weekend. Yeah, I said pumpkin patch. We don't say pumpkin patch at my house. We say pumpkin patch. Which one are you going to? I'm not going to tell because then everyone's going to show up and drink all the moonshine. I mean, all the apple juice. And then uh, I'm telling you, last year I went, we got stuck out in the corn maze. We got lost. They give you this map. The map doesn't help. I thought it'd be a great day to wear my tennis shoes, and so did my son. And then it started raining. And then the next thing you know, the mud was so deep. Do you ever step down in the mud and your feet disappear? Like yeah. my my just completely disappeared. Rips your shoe right off. Yeah. So we were stuck out there for like three hours, and I love my son, and I love doing activities with him, but I. I am not looking forward to going to the pumpkin patch. Coming up on the Ron and Don Show, your text message is at 98973. The news as we see it. All right, let's get the news as we see it. We read the paper, scout the end, so you don't have to. This is the number one story that was trending on my Facebook page today. It's probably trending on yours, too, at some point. Uh, Jenna Jameson, former uh, porn star, is not happy with Playboy's choice to feature its first ever transgender playmate. It's the French model, and I hope I say this right, Ines Rao. It's the November issue. The former adult entertainer told Fox News, I just think it's a ridiculous attempt by Playboy to stay relevant. It's a foolish decision, and it alienates its con- and consumer base. We inf- uh, And then they said, we unsuccessfully reached out to Playboy for comment, but Cooper Hefner, the son of late founder Hugh Hefner, told the New York Times it's the right thing to do. We're at a moment where gender roles are involving. Join us right now, and we're so happy. I'm going to tell you about a concert here in a moment. Uh, Seattle model, singer, songwriter, and also transgender, Claire Michelle joins us. And Claire, what is your reaction to Playboy doing this in November? Hey, guys. Uh, I think it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, so pretty much having a trans woman being a part of Playboy is just doing incredible things for trans people themselves, trans representation in the fashion industry and in media. And um, just, it's it's fantastic just to have everyone um, be really positive about this whole experience uh, with Inez, and I'm really happy for her. So, yeah. Are, are yeah you, things are doing great. Yeah, are you, <laughs> are you surprised by Jenna Jameson uh, for her reaction to this? Because she feels like, you know, uh, Playboy, hey, you forgot your fan base, and... She hasn't apologized yet, and there's a lot of people that have attacked her on Twitter now and said, hey, I'm gay, I'm lesbian, I'm trans, I'm a big fan of yours, Jenna Jameson, and how could you how could you react and respond this way? Uh, I think uh, Janet Jameson isn't looking at the bigger picture here. Uh, it's really what it boils down to is I think Playboy noticed that there's a trend in uh, trans people coming out, and there's a trend in uh, trans acceptance happening all throughout the world. And uh, I think Playboy is jumping on the bandwagon here and making sure that they uh, get their foot in the door Um, because, I mean, more clientele are going to agencies like Playboy looking for, you know, uh, trans models. And without any trans uh, model representation, um, there is there are these clients that have to be turned away because they can't market towards trans trans people. Mm. Um, So I think I think that uh, she's. Yeah, no, I don't. Th- I don't think she's looking at the bigger picture here. All right, she's a Claire Michelle. She's a Seattle uh, model and singer and songwriter. Claire, I always get a little conflicted because uh, it seems like feminism and Playboy magazine may not go hand in hand. Uh, you seem enthusiastic about this. Is there any downside to being in a adult magazine like Playboy? Do you think? Well, I can't really speak on uh, being in an adult magazine as I've never done that before. Uh, however, um, with the modeling industry itself, it's just a very multifaceted industry. And um, like any other industry, there's different needs for different people. There's different markets. There's different demographics. Um, and so, I mean, you say a downside, but I think it's I think it really what it boils down to is the individual. And then on, uh, behind that, then the company's needs as well. I think they're just trying to sell a product. How do, how do you, how are you feeling the scene is and the support or lack of support in Seattle right now for the trans community? How, how are things uh, in everyday life? 
Uh, Seattle's a pretty wonderful place here. Uh, I'm in San Francisco right now, so I say here in the, <laughs> half the country. But, um, but no, Seattle, uh, Seattle is doing uh, really great things for trans people. Um, there's a lot of like organizations that are uh, popping up here, a lot of support for them on the political side, like uh, the Gender Justice League is doing fantastic stuff for um, trans people here in Seattle and even just uh, all over all over the country. Um, you know, we're fighting the um, executive orders with um, with the trans military ban. And um, I think that Seattle is really just a safe haven for um, trans people themselves. And I'm, I'm happy to be living in that city. That's awesome. Hey, I understand you got a concert coming up you want to tell people about. October 27th, you'll be at the High Dive in Seattle. And this is, I guess this is a Halloween concert, right? Yeah, it is. Um, I'm a musician mostly. I do modeling on the side. But, um, yeah, if you want to come on down, I'd love to have you um, be a part of it. Uh, wear your costume. It's October 27th at the High Dive. Uh, the show starts at 830. If you ever need a really sub-mediocre rhythm guitar player, uh, I can bring <laughs> out my, my Telecaster. Yeah. All right, I'm going to kick Jared out. I'm sure he'll love it. <laughs> All right. Hey, before you go, I just want to apologize, and I know, I'm not sure who I'm apologizing for. But I was a little disgusted uh, because my producer said that you may not want to come on tonight because there was some someone here at this radio station uh, that said some things about transgender people that that was that was bothersome, and it didn't sound like they were open minded, and you weren't sure not you weren't you weren't sure if it was this show, and uh, it wasn't this show. But on behalf of this radio station, we appreciate you coming on, sharing your views, and I'm. I'm sorry if someone here uh, offended you. Uh, it wasn't me. It was just rumors that I've heard from my colleagues. So, But I do appreciate your apology. All right. Thank you. Claire, thanks for being here. That's Claire Michelle right there on the Ron and Don Show. Checking the cars right now.